So everything was working just fine with our Datastorm F2 satellite internet connection until one day we went to deploy it and the D3 controller threw us a message saying negative 17, indicating a GPS failure. I called Modusat support and of course they said this was a very rare issue with the D3 which w operates GPS a little differently than the D2. Um, so they told us that the only way to figure it out was to replace the upper control board or the UCB. And first indication of uh, trouble that might be with this repair is that it says F1 on it and we have an F2. So we're going to go see if that makes a difference by replacing the UCB on our F2. shroud here contains the upper control board, so we'll just remove that. And this is interesting, this board says F3 on it, the one they sent us says F1 on it, and we have an F2. But it does look the same, so we're going to swap it out and see if it makes a difference. like a very high-tech weather protection device here. And wrap the plastic bag around the board. Let's reconnect the jumpers before we wrap that back over. Trying to get this back the way they had it. After replacing the upper control board, you need to run a UCB update command from a telnet window. So open a terminal, dial into your controller, and type UCB update. You'll get a message that says the update will start in 10 seconds, and that message will not change. Come back over to your main status window, and you'll notice that the mount is actually getting programmed, and it looks like it's going to take a while there. In Europe, 20,000 leprosiums, you know, the UCB update has finished and system is initialized, so we're going to run a calibration of the dish. And there she goes. Attempting to calibrate the dish, we got a negative 36 error. Bad motor count. Whatever that means, I don't know. We were able to operate in manual mode when the board was bad by entering our GPS coordinates and a generic satellite mode. I did make sure that those were set back to HughesNet and that manual mode was disabled on the GPS, um, but when it went up to calibrate, it just stopped, and we're going to find out why. So sure enough, we were sent the wrong replacement board. Just got the new one that says F3. The F3 board is good for the F3 and the F2. That's why the board in ours says F3. And the one we were sent said F1. It has a very tiny resistor down at the bottom right corner of the chip that you can tell the difference. Otherwise, they look identical. So we're going to go ahead and replace this one, run another UCB update, and hopefully this time it'll calibrate.